Hi there. These are 10 life lessons which are never taught in school. School is a marvelous education system through which children are taught the basics of logical thinking, problem solving, you name it. Irregardless, one attended which school out there, most of the things which you know in life, most likely you learn them by going through life. That's why there is an adage out there which says, life is the best teacher. Because guys, people out here have insane experiences. Some which they wish they could learn because they were younger, life has a way of teaching people out there. And in the course of that, we see a good number of people out there, for example, being able to lead a good life, what people perceive to be success, others having difficulty in life, what people perceive to be failure, and so forth. And even it can get quite dire. Through someone going through the lessons of life, even sometimes it is a matter of life and death. That's why I thought, why not make this video for you to share 10 life lessons which are never taught in school and yet they are very critical for you to know as you go through the journey of life. You are all much welcomed to the Money Daily YouTube channel. My name is Afagza Sifuna. And by the way, if you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel. Subscribe because I'm out here bringing you awesome videos each and every day around personal finance, investing, and general life lessons. Having said that, number one, school never teaches you how to make money. Don't get me wrong. Yes, through the basics of training in school, for example, someone going to school, for example, to learn law, someone going to school, for example, to study engineering, study mathematics, you name it, they're going to have the basics of skills which are going to assist them start acting a living. But generally, school never teaches you to make money. Yes, school assists you out there to be able to maybe lock a salary, which of course is going to assist you survive. But school never teaches you how to make money. School never teaches you how to be able to build insane wealth. That's why it is important to understand what you learn in school. Unless, for example, you went maybe through a business school, you don't understand how to make money. And by the way, people out there who actually have money or the such persistence to be rich don't make money through salaries. They make money through other uh, things out there. For example, side hustles. For example, jumping on passive incomes and so forth. And by the way, that's why even I began this channel to be sharing with you knowledge around making money, passive income, side hustles, and so forth. Because this is something school never teaches you. School teaches you to be obedient. School teaches you to be a good employee. It never teaches you to be that daring entrepreneur out there. Because by design, the system, in case you are very aggressive and you're young, is going to tell you you are stubborn. It never teaches you to be aggressive in life for you to go for what you want out there, regardless what it takes as long as it's legal. School never teaches you that. School teaches you to become an obedient employee and stick by it. That's why it is important to know that and as we go through the journey of life, understand those who actually make insane wealth are aggressive out there. They know what they want. They go for it. They aren't really those quiet employees. They go after what they want. And then secondly, schools never teach you how to manage money. What do I mean? Guys, I have seen a good number of people out there make insane amounts of money and also waste insane amounts of money. Reason being, they don't know how to manage money. And the starting point of this is actually to understand how the flow of money works. Right from when you're getting money, the things you're spending this money on, the possibilities you could have spent this money on and so forth. Guys, understanding the flow of money is what is going to assist you know what to prioritize in life. And I'm saying that because school never teaches you this. Once school teaches you to be obedient, you need to go to employment and continue leading a normal life. But the reality is that life has its own twists. For example, life can spin you in great debts out there. 
What do you need to do in case you are in debt debts? Okay? Life can really push you to the edge, for example, even you can be working in a very expensive city, which in essence is gonna say is gonna tell you that you are, you are actually your monthly expenses out there, whether it is the money you spend on groceries, money you spend on a car note and so forth, are gonna be quite expensive. School never prepares you for this, and that's why a good number of people out there don't know that for them to be able to make insane amounts of money, for them to be able to grow their fortune, they need to bank on assets. People out there are going through the normal cycle of getting money, spending money, getting into liabilities. Get money, spend money, pay liabilities. And yet, the magic happens in assets. Schools never teach you that. You need to understand that for you to be able to manage money and even grow your money, you need to jump on assets and in fact prioritize assets. And then, the third thing which school never teaches you out there is time management. I know someone could argue by default school teaches time management because there is an order in school. Yes, yeah, there is an order. But let me ask you a question. In your school, has anyone ever explained to you even the basics of why the lessons you are taking last at that particular duration of time? Why? For example, they used to give you a, a, a break of maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes and so forth. No one explained to you. And yet, all this is anchored on the science of money. The basic techniques out there, like for example, Promodoro technique of time management, is evoked in most schools out there with regards to how they plan their lessons. And yet, no one actually explained to you in details how you need to manage your time optimally. That's why you find, for example, someone out there has the entire time, and yet they are spending time on things which are frivolous. The kind of things which won't really be able to assist them progress in life by developing skills or even so by them making money. And to give you an example, you could find, for example, someone out there, they have the entire weekend to themselves. And yet, they spend the entire weekend out there just watching movies, watching series. And yet, beyond watching movies and series, they could also have spent a chunk of that weekend, for example, learning a new skill which is going to assist them increase their earning propensity. These are things school never teaches you. School just teaches you the basics for what you've paid school fees for. But beyond that, these are other things you need to learn by yourself. Okay? And then, the fourth thing which school never teaches is how to cook and benefits of cooking in the first place. Guys, school teaches you what you need to retain in your head. Unless you went, for example, to culinary art school out there, school never teaches you how to cook. And yet, this is a very basic activity of daily living and in fact i've seen for example adults out there someone is 20 something years old someone 30 something years old they don't know how to cook you wonder how this are the entire duration in this life guys these are things schools never teach you that's why you need to be very intentional on how you go about learning these things in case you managed to grow up, for example, in a good family setup. You saw how people in the family used to cook. You partake in this and actually you are able to learn the basics of cooking. And even so, some people out there have even been able to become good chefs by learning through the family setup. What if the family setup is not assisting you with that and also school is not assisting you with that? Unless you take initiative, you won't be able to learn how to cook. And yet, this is a basic activity or daily living because you have to eat and by the way i'm saying so because you find for example out there let me give you an example someone is earning maybe 500 dollars each and every month you find them spending 300 dollars on buying food out there guys this is someone spending over 20 percent of their monthly income purchasing cooked food out there purchasing junk food out there and yet they could have spent a smaller amount of money on groceries and then be making their own meals from home. These are some of the things which affect money flow, which affect your budget, and yet school never teaches you how to cook. And then the fifth thing which school never teaches you out there and you need to learn by yourself is that school never teaches you how to be ambitious in this competition of life. Guys, this life is survival for the fittest. Those who are very fit in this life are the ones who are gonna grow to see what they have invested in, give them back returns. Are the ones 
who are going to be able to attract the best of things in life. And I'm saying so because this world has humbleness, which it appreciates, but also beyond that, for you to be able to make it in whichever field out there, you need to be very ambitious. And unfortunately, this is something schools never teach you. Schools just teach you the academics. As long as you're scoring that desired marks, as long as you're ranking among the best students, well and good. Rarely does school teach you how to build confidence. Rarely does school teach you how to be ambitious. And yet, life calls for you to be ambitious, for you to be able to succeed. And then, the sixth thing, which also school never teaches, is how to communicate effectively. It is kind of fascinating how communication can really skyrocket you to places you never thought about before. If you can be able to manage the, or to master the art of communicating, basic things like how to communicate with respect, how to communicate in the context of different power dynamics out there, how to negotiate and so forth. These are soft skills which gonna really take you places out there. And yet, schools rarely invest in teaching students out there these soft skills which are very fundamental in assisting them maneuver in life. By the way guys, sometimes in life, you can find yourself in a room full of vultures. You need to think about how you can maneuver. If you don't have the understanding of different communication skills out there, how you can buy your way out of the given situations out there, things are going to really be very thick for you. And yet, this is also another basic skill in life which actually schools never teach. And yet, all of us need to communicate each and every day, communicate with diverse audiences out there, communicate with our supervisors out there, communicate with our competition out there for us to be able to make a living. And yet, this is something schools never teach us out here effectively. And then, the seventh thing which school never teaches is teaching you about friendships, more so the different types of friendships out there. Guys, I have seen in life people out there making mistakes with regards to who their friends are. And I'm saying so because you could find, for example, someone has gone through school, well and good. This person has been able to graduate, well and good. This person got a job, well and good. Maybe they were in employment for five years. They were, able, they were able to get some money. And of course, in the course of these five years, they were interacting with different individuals out there, thinking that they are friends. And maybe it reached a time this person lost their job. And then each and everyone who they used to communicate with before vanished. Why? Because guys, in the first place, these people were not their closest of friends. And yet they were thinking these are their friends. Guys, this is some of the basics which schools need to be teaching. You understanding different levels of friendships out there. For example, you need to know by default your colleague who you're working with is not your friend unless you have been able to build that bond over time. Just because you're working with someone, just because you're living near someone, it doesn't mean they are your friends. These are constitutes, okay? Just because you are in school with someone, it doesn't mean they are your friends. Maybe they might be your comrades, okay? It is only your confidence who are they going to be banking on. And I'm talking about maybe somewhere between 0 to even 5% of the people you know. Or the people in your friendship circles. Those are the only people who you need to care about. Because over 90% are actually constitutes. Whereby you have come together because of a specific thing which is causing you to interact. It's causing you to communicate. But it doesn't mean you are friends. That's why most of the times out here people say, understand, your co-workers are not your friends. These are your constitutes who over time, God forbid, for example, you lose your job, they're going to cut the communication they're having with you. For example, you become ill, yes, they're going to support you the extent they can, but it is only your closest of family members and maybe one or two people you say your confidence are the ones who are going to stand by you. And with that, you need to invest your efforts in building these friendships as opposed to pleasing each and everybody out there. And yet, they are not your friends. Okay? And then, the eighth thing which school never teaches is how to accept failure. In other words, taking the loss like a champion and then thinking about how to bounce back, how to win again. Guys, I have seen out here people bank on something real real hard and then if it doesn't materialize they're gonna be demotivated for good school needs to teach you how to take the loss and then bounce back 
a loss out there needs to be the motivation for you to be able to desire to succeed and even so succeed at greater heights. And yet, these are some of the things schools never teach you. In life, life is about a journey. Life is about experiences. That's why you have the highs and the lows. I'm talking about you succeeding, you failing, you failing, and in fact, you're going to fail many more times before you succeed. If you aren't psychologically prepared to know that you're going to fail many more times before you succeed, chances are it's going to be difficult for you to take that loss. Reason being, you have been brought up in a system whereby you think you need to succeed all the time, and yet that isn't the reality. You need to fail, fail again, fail very hard, and then get those lessons, then use these lessons as fuel for you to be able to propel to different heights of success out there. And yet, guys, these are some of the things which school never teaches you. You need to learn how to take the loss. You need to learn how to package lessons from a loss for you to be able to bounce back again. And then, the ninth thing which school never teaches people out there is how to resolve conflicts. Guys, in life, we as human beings constantly have conflicts. It could be conflicts which are very pronounced. Sometimes there could be conflicts which aren't pronounced. Irregardless, you need to know how to resolve conflict. Because if you don't know how to resolve conflict, it's going to really take you to the, to the very extremes sometimes. That's why you could even see sometimes other people get into very dire conflict that even sometimes people out there lose their lives. That's why you need to learn how to resolve conflict. And that is something school never teaches you. In other words, it never teaches you how to converse with people out there in the context of you diverging on different fundamentals. Okay? For example, you're not agreeing with a co-worker out there. For example, you're not agreeing with a family member out there. How do you go about resolving this conflict? These are some of the things which school never teaches you. And yet, you need to learn in life how to go about resolving conflict. How to learn how to take the underarm in situations whereby one person needs to cool down for that to be logical thinking. How to learn about how to apologize and not let ego take a toll on you in case you are on the wrong. You need to apologize to avoid any conflict. How you, how you need to learn about how to make things right in case you have disadvantaged someone out there. These are some of the things which school never teaches us, and yet they are fundamentals in life. And then, the tenth and last thing, but not least important, which school never teaches us is how to manage stress. Guys, each and every day out there, all of us have stress. It's only that we have stress at different levels and also stress caused by different things out there. And we all seen, for example, someone out there becoming severely depressed, even, unfortunately, a good number out there going to the extent of committing suicide because of severe depression. All these began from a stressful situation, which wasn't addressed with regards to addressing the different triggers out there and also assisting a person understand how to develop coping mechanisms. And then over time, this really generated to become this severe depression, which unfortunately for some people out there, builds to even people committing suicide. Guys, schools never teach us how to manage stress. And yet, there are basic skills out there which can assist you, for example, identify triggers of any situation out there, develop a given coping mechanism, and even so, let you think about how ideal you can go about resolving any situation out there without really sinking and sinking deep into depression or even stressful situation. These are some of the lessons out there which schools need to teach. Unfortunately, a good number of people out there learn how to cope with stress over time, but they themselves learning, sometimes hurting themselves, knowing what works, knowing what doesn't work, and then over time refining how best they can be able to cope with stress. I think these are some of the 10 areas which I think our school or education system out there need to really invest in so that every child out there is able to be equipped with these essential skills I've, talk I've talked about. Skills like, for example, how to make money, how to manage money, time management, how to cook, how to communicate effectively, how to be able to build different friendships, how to resolve conflict, how to handle stressful situations out there, how to take a loss like a champion, and so forth. These are basics of life, which I think our education systems out there need to teach everyone so that 
they can be able to positively contribute to society while also safeguarding themselves and also safeguarding the interests of those close to them. What do you think about this video? Do you think there is another skill out there which schools need to teach which I haven't spoken about? If there is, share with me in the comment section below. Let's continue engaging there. Thanks a lot for watching. I look forward to sharing with you other awesome videos next time. Bye-bye and you all take care.